Snaven here. I'm at the Black Fool Magic Convention where there are thousands of magicians and 180 dealers. And of all the things I've seen at the various dealer counters, the Voodoo Needle is the only one I chose to buy. It's that good. This has to be one of the best impromptu secrets you will ever learn. Period. And this is Voodoo Needle. He's not paying me. This is worth every single pound. No matter. It's awesome. It's beautiful. It follows exactly the lines. Right. Any pen, any needle, no matter it's you get it. Yeah. And that's what it's wonderful, man. This is one of the greatest secrets I have ever learned in my 20 years as a professional magician. The first time I saw this trick I was blown away. I had no clue how that worked. And even if you know how it works, you will be fooled. Every single person who watched Food Needle perform had no clue, including the top names in magic. They were fooled badly by the method. It's one of those rare tricks that just comes along once in a lifetime where the method is as impressive as the effect. Here's what happens. A voodoo doll is drawn on a paper pad by you or the spectator. Then the spectator takes a needle and punches that needle at a random spot in the voodoo doll, any spot. Then when another drawing is made on the pad, that needle, eerily and spooky, follows the line of the pencil drawing, as if by real black magic. Fudo Needle sold completely out at Blackpool. And the magicians that bought it were so happy with the method that they came back to me personally and thanked me. It doesn't use any of those traditional methods like threads or magnets. And you can do it with a barred pen or pencil, barred paper pad, barred needle. It is that strong. The roots of voodoo lies within tribal religions. They have this voodoo thing going on. You know the voodoo dolls they have? Yeah. Now, I don't have a doll here, but I want to recreate that energy right here, together with you guys. <laughs> don't be scared, this is going to be fun. I'm going to draw a uh, voodoo doll, one of those stitch dolls, you know, it has a head. You see, my drawing skills are amazing. This is the best I can do. Does it look like this? Yeah, okay. Uh, just place an X mark anywhere on the body, just a little cross, <laughs> where we could possibly could pin the needle. Uh, okay, there we go, pin goes in. I want you to hold the pen in your hand. I'm gonna load that energy, your energy, into the pen. Because now there is a connection between the doll and you. Uh, your first name was? Tasha. Tasha, okay, I'm gonna write the T on here. I want you just to watch the pin as I write the T. If there's a connection, you might see something happen. Oh my God. <laughs> So one thing I, I like about this is it's, it's the versatility. I mean, you're not, you're not tied to one presentational uh, thing. When Aeon showed me this video, uh, I was totally blown away uh, by the method. I, I couldn't believe that it worked the way it did. And um, uh, I knew that this was going to be a future classic in magic. I am Peter Eggick, and this is Furu Needle. <laughs>